contaminated water used to come from the plant underground through a sewer system and uh, just ran directly into the lake. Green, blue, some red stuff. We thought it was neat playing in that colored water back in the day. The 16 years of uh, being a uh, super fun site, not a whole lot being done. We're just trying to uh, try and get a fair deal so we got a safe place to uh, raise our kids. The big black pile over there, a lot of people around here call it the pile of black death. I grew up in Depew. I've lived here 35 years, and I could—I just couldn't leave. I couldn't couldn't see myself anywhere else. So, I have a little one that's two, and then this baby, and so it's kind of scary. I think, am I doing the right thing? Because is it safe? There you go. I always dreamed that this—if this mountain was gone—it would be a nice park where kids could actually play and. Maybe someday it will be. If you're gonna do something like that, you should be liable to clean up the mess you made. Because right, like right now we haven't seen anything change. Mm -hmm. Like we just hear people talking about that they're gonna clean it up, but really we haven't seen anything. Exxon Mobil supplied us at a field trip. They supplied us with all our lunches, but they won't help clean the lake. It makes no sense. 16 years is a lot. It's it's how old I am, and I can't believe there's nothing that has been done to actually help us. I know those corporations have tons of money and what they have to do here is probably nothing in their in their pocketbooks. All these promises they have to take action and clean it up as soon as possible. It wells up in me and I think about it and the fact that my kids are exposed to it. It's not an isolated problem or situation. This goes on and it continues to go on day in and day out throughout the country where communities are paralyzed through toxins that have been left by industry that has left town. If we can make a stand here and make a difference, I think it's gonna make a difference everywhere.